So the Yankees are playing extremely well, right? And obviously their superstars are starting to contribute. Aaron Judge is playing well. Giancarlo Stanton's playing well. Garrett Cole's obviously playing well, and I'm glad that he's back. I'm glad that Jordan Montgomery's back. Um, you know, and, and Joey Gallo's starting to be really, really picking things up now, too. Odor's still getting a lot of hits. DJ's kind of picking things up, too. So a lot of their mainstays are, 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 are being quite productive and are contributing a lot to this team's success. But I want to talk about a couple of unsung heroes who are contributing just as much to this team's success. They're doing the dirty work. They're getting in there, making the plays, making the small plays, and sometimes making the big plays, and putting the team in, the cont- in, in positions to win, okay? And, you know, I, and why, you know what I mean? So I want to start with Tyler Wade. Unsung, unheralded player, right? He's not one of the bigger names on the team, but he's been... He's been here. He's been consistent for a bunch of years. He's hitting 460 in the month of August. And by the way, the Yankees are 13 and 4 so far in August. So they're playing really good baseball. Okay, he's the reason why batting 460. Okay, that's 13 for 28 in 13 games. Great baseball. Fantastic base runner. He gives guys opportunities. You know, on a regular basis, he moves quickly over the bases. He's he's a fantastic base runner, base stealer. He's pretty solid offensively too, and he plays multiple positions. So I want to recognize him for what he's what he's contributed this month. Um, next up is Albert Abreu, okay, young fireballing reliever, okay, 1.80 ERA in the month of August. He's um, two earned runs and in ten innings pitched over eight games. Okay, again another one of the young kids who had control problems, okay, over the last couple of years, but he's he seems to have gotten that on lockdown a, a, a much better than before, and he's you know he's attacking the zone, he's getting dudes out. And he's dominating this month. So congratulations to, to Albert Abreu. Steven Riding's another addition into the bullpen. Recently, he's just been dominating as well. He's throwing 98, 99, 100, getting dudes out, making key outs. Okay? Uh, I'm, I don't know where he came from, but he, I'm glad that he's here. I'm really glad that he's here. Um, I do think they sent him down recently to get uh, to bring some of these guys up. But I do think he'll be, he'll be back up when they expand the rosters in like 10 days. So, uh, as he should be. Um... You know, and last but not oh, actually, Wandy Peralta. I mean, <laughs> Wandy's been money. I mean, wow. I'm really glad the Yankees got him, too. That was a huge trade. Um, you know, zero, zero, zero ERA in the month of August, okay? Not a run. And 8.2 innings pitch over eight games. Really, really clutch outs. Making it just, he got in, you know, last night's game, he got himself into a jam, got out of it. He inherited a jam from Albert Abreu, I mean, uh, from uh, Luis Hill, got out of it. So, Clutch work for for Wandy. Um, Jonathan Davis, <clears throat> he's not heralded for his bat, but he's made some incredible defensive plays in the outfield since he's been here. Okay, he saved a couple of games. He saved the game two days ago from for for Garrett Cole when he made that that brilliant play in center field after he made the catch and crashed into the wall. I mean, those are the types of plays that get highlight reels, and that was a highlight reel play. It was a great play, and um, again, doing some of the little things. And these, all these little things add up into big things, okay? And last but not least on this list is Luis Hill. <laughs> Young, you know, stud player, 21-year-old, uh, was one of their top prospects. He's gotten opportunities now. He's one of the, he's the, the first, either the Yankees player or first major league player to throw three scoreless starts in his first three games in the major leagues. Fantastic. Zero ERA in the month of August, okay? 15 and a half, 15.2 innings pitched. Okay, not a run, and uh, he he actually did an uh, 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 I, uh, an interview with Meredith Morakovitz recently and Susan Waldman, separate interviews. But he told both of them that he's he's better up in the major leagues. It's that added pressure, that added adrenaline, that added motivation, that added focus that makes him better up here than he would be down in Triple A. He's just more motivated up here, and that's the type of mindset. That's a winning mindset. That's that attitude is is what, what this team was lacking. Um, early on the season and now has a whole bunch of. I mean, ever since they acquired these new guys at the trading deadline, it's added swagger. It's added toughness to this team. And stuff like this, I mean, and I, I you know, I do want to report a little bit of bad news. Luis Hill was sent down after the double letter tonight to AAA, unfortunately. So that uh, makes me a little sad. But, <laughs> and, uh, but uh, you know, he'll definitely be back up. Uh, at the very latest by when they expand rosters on September. I think it's September 1st. But, Another cool fact is in the la- the last five um, wins, okay, um, this say there was been, there's been five actually recorded saves, and there's been five pitchers to record them. It was Britton, Abreu, Wandy, Ch- uh, Chad Green, and Johnny Lasagna, five different guys 
um, that have gotten a save over the last five wins. So that just goes to show you there's a lot of versatility. And I know we talk about the bigger bullpen guys, Chapman and Britton. Even when they're playing well or not playing well, we still talk about them more than we talk about these guys. But these guys are the ones that do the you know the dirty work and get the key outs and 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 do these things that that go unrecognized a lot. You know, Tyler Wade doesn't get a lot of recognition. And guy, just Stephen Writings, another guy. I mean, like Clay Holmes doesn't he's new, obviously, but you know he's been really productive as well. You know, and I know we lost some guys like Darren O'Day for the season, and and but like with the exception of the superstars, these are the guys that I, I want to recognize more often because of the things that they do that contribute just as much to the team wins as the superstars contribute. And to me, it's important to do that. So you let me know who you think should be recognized. If there's anybody else that you want to give props to and love, put them in the comments down below. I like doing stuff like this because, you know, it's, it's a, it is a team effort. And when guys are down, other guys pick them up and vice versa. So, and these are, these are, you know, as an opportunity to recognize some of these dudes and, uh, you know, they're part of the Yankee family. So, and they're, you know, part of this, what's becoming a pretty great season now. So, uh, and I hope it continues that way. So there's 40 plus games left for the stretch, you know, and they got to be tough and strong. So, and I think, and I think they will be, and they've got all the reinforcements still coming back from Gio to Torres to Rizzo, like, yeah, Domingo Herman, Kluber, like there's a lot of there's a lot of weaponry coming back. So, um, you know, uh, there there's going there there's going to be some improvements to be made too. And they're going to be if they're at full strength, I think they can go toe to toe with any team in baseball, including the Dodgers, if they're at full strength. Okay, um, pers I don't see Luis Severino personally coming back this year, so I have all this stuff factored with him not included. Um, I have him coming back in 2022 if he does in the beginning of the season. But um, so everything I say right now does not have Luis Severino factored in at all. He's to me would be an added bonus to whatever happens. But um, so will you let me know what you think, guys? Okay. Um, you know I'll be doing my live recap tomorrow uh, or tonight actually after the game. And I have to hopefully sweep Boston. And uh, you know we'll talk about this as well. And you let you guys let me know in the comments. So I will see you guys tonight. Let's go Yankees.